Hello, my name is Bill. I am the pastor at Freedom Lutheran Church here in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. I was thinking this morning about how often Jesus must have looked at people. And what I mean by him looking at people is he looked at them and really saw them, saw them for who they are. Saw, I wonder if he saw their hopes and dreams and aspirations. But I think even more uh, miraculous than that, I believe when Jesus looked at people, he looked at them with the eyes of love. He looked at them with compassion and with mercy and with kindness and gentleness, truly all the fruits of the Spirit. So I think it's challenging for me to read about Jesus acting in that way and then for thinking about me and you going out and doing likewise. Can we go about doing what Jesus did? Can we so let Jesus inhabit our hearts and our lives that in every situation, whoever with whoever we're with and whenever we are with them, we can look at them as Jesus would look at them with eyes that are loving. That, and then we can allow the love of our Lord welling up inside of us to, to, to come out in the forms of kindness and gentleness and in the forms of listening and patience in forms of compassion. I think this is what Jesus is getting at when he talks about when he says to his disciples, uh, they will know you, meaning outsiders, non-followers of Jesus, non-followers will know you by your love, by the love that we show each other inside the community of Christ. And I think a community that struggles with love, um, struggles with the forms of love, hospitality, taking time to listen, being patient, keeping our dogs in the fight when we have arguments with each other. I think when we struggle with these basic kinds of love, we really struggle as community. And I think that's true for something as small as a husband and wife, larger to a family, even larger include the extended family, even larger include the church family. On and on it goes. Um, I think that's true for our work situations and our volunteer time, those nonprofits that we serve. Wow. Look at people through the eyes of Jesus. Look at people through the eyes of love. It was 1 Peter 4, 8, plus my devotion, that got me thinking in, the, in this manner. And here's what 1 Peter 4, 8 says. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. I pray for you, I honestly do pray for you, that today your day will be marked by the love of Christ. Not only Jesus' incredible love for you taken, in, taken inside your heart, but you letting that love shine out in the world. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. Please go to our website. You can give, you can give to the church there. You can look at other devotions and other helpful videos. You can read helpful articles for your, for your own spiritual development. And that website, I think you know it if you've watched this video, these, these videos before, freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Once again, thank you for joining me, and God willing, I'll look forward to spending some time in devotion with you tomorrow.